Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I thought I would talk about the differences between Azure and AWS and who would win in a war for uh, being most consumer friendly. Not enterprise, but consumer friendly. So let's go. All right, so let me tell you how I'm going to be grading those two cloud providers. So because I only have two, I did not do Google Cloud because I know nothing about it and I don't want to be rating it without having tried it extensively first. So the way I'm grading those is I'm going to have a few categories. So the first one's going to be the services. So the service offered, the second one, the user interface, the third one, market share, the fourth one, the training, and the fifth one, the costs. So I'm going to be grading those. If it's the best, it gets two points. If it's the worst, it gets one point. All right. So first thing, the service offerings. So I'm going to try to find an actual number of services offered and how much the services offered differ from one cloud provider to the other. And really, I couldn't find any real difference that would uh, make sense, especially since here I'm also grading it for a user. So you as a viewer to use it for yourself, for your learning, and I couldn't find any difference between the two. I found this good comparison from market Microsoft where they list the products that are from AWS and the equivalent products from Microsoft. And from this, you can notice that some products actually have one product for AWS that is split up into multiple products for Microsoft and vice versa. So it's very hard to gauge and the actual number of services in this case doesn't really make sense. So I'll give them both a two because they're equal. All right, so the second thing is the user interface. So for me, this is a big one because as much as I love to go in the console, as much as I love finding little things. I really like a good user interface and I like to be able to find things easily. I like to have a consistent user interface. I like things to be obvious. And for me on this one, Microsoft is the clear winner. The user interface is streamlined. Everything looks the same. There's no weirdness. It looks neat. It looks new. Whereas in my opinion, AWS looks a little bit older. You can't really organize your resources. So if you have an S3 buckets, you can just organize them by region. You can't really organize them by um, projects or whatever. It, it's just not, as far as I'm concerned, and that's a subjective measurement, uh, I think AWS is not where it needs to be in terms of user interface. It's really more aimed towards developers and DevOps and people who work in a console, who deploy resources automatically and all that stuff. Whereas Azure is more aimed towards users, people who are more in the ops side of thing, who would not, who would do automation and would be in the command line, but would not necessarily deploy a lot of things through command line and would really like to be able to just go and figure things out in the user interface. So for this one, Azure gets two points and AWS gets one point. All right, the third criteria is market share. So market share is really just the amount of dollars spent on a cloud service in a year. That's the objective measurement. But what this means to you is you will have a cloud provider with the highest market share means more opportunities to get jobs with that cloud provider. And then this one, AWS is the clear winner with 30% market share and Azure having 20%. It means everything else has about 50% market share. So those two cloud providers represent 50% of the market. I think Google Cloud Platform was at about 9%, I want to say. So third one, 9%. So, and that's also why I want to do those two because they're the two biggest ones. So in this, in this case, uh, AWS again is the clear winner and they get two points. They get two points. I think I kept AWS here. Two points on AWS and one point for Azure in market share. Uh, but they're still pretty good. Those two will represent 50% of the job market of, of the, the cloud providers. So if you want to get a job, those two are great ones to have 
AWS a little bit better, but Azure still is a pretty good one to have. All right, so the fourth one is training. So the way I looked at this is I looked at the trainings, re the training resources available from each cloud provider. I also looked at the training resources available in things like Udemy and a cloud guru. And what I found is that they're really good, both of them, but there's a lot more training available for AWS. Not that AWS provide additional training that Microsoft doesn't. They all are equally great at providing training for their certification and their tools. But overall out there, there's more training available for AWS than there is for Microsoft, but not by much, but I will still give the points, two points for AWS and one point for Azure for training. All right, and the last one is cost. So how much does it cost to use the resources in the cloud, in those cloud providers? And I couldn't, it was, it's very hard to compare costs between cloud providers because it's very hard to compare them one to one. They each provide different things in different ways. And so it's hard to compare, but from my research, it seems like AWS has lower costs than Azure does. So in this one, AWS gets two points and Azure gets one point. But again, I don't think it's that big a difference between the two, especially as a consumer, um, a private user and not an enterprise user. I think the cost, you will not see huge drastic differences in the cost, especially if you even use serverless. If you go serverless, the costs are just minimal. There, there's not a huge difference. So Azure gets two points, uh, AWS gets two points, Azure gets one point in this one, but it's, it's more of a tie than uh, a clear winner on this one. All right, so if we tell you all these numbers up, you can see that AWS gets nine points and Azure gets seven points. So AWS is the clear winner. I don't even know what I'm doing with my hands, but yeah. over here, there's AWS. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> AWS is over here and the clear winner. But did you think that Azure would get down without a fight? No, sir. No, ma'am. <laughs> I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. Here's the thing about Microsoft that AWS does not have. Microsoft has a huge, huge share of the IT uh, market, a huge share. They have Active Directory, they have Windows servers, they have Windows 10, they have Office, they have Office 365 with the email, they have Power BI, they have so many tools, they have Intune, whatever. They have so many tools in the IT market share that I think it's important to mention that, that even though Azure in this contest loses against AWS, you also have to see the big picture of the Microsoft ecosystem, which has a huge value that it, Amazon is probably going to be unable to provide in the decades to come, I think. Uh, the Microsoft computers running on Microsoft, the ability to hybrid join computers and join them to Azure Active Directory and have all your ecosystem in one place from Microsoft is a huge win for a lot of companies. So don't count Azure out yet because there's a lot of wins in having a Microsoft ecosystem. I personally use an Apple ecosystem and I have huge benefits from being in the whole Apple ecosystem. At work, I use a Microsoft ecosystem and there's huge benefits to that too. So keep that in mind when you choose which one is better for yourself. Um, having a lot of Microsoft background can be very helpful and you can find full blown shops that will go exclusively on Microsoft, which you cannot find exclusively on AWS. So something to keep in mind. All right, and that's it for this video. Thank you very much for sticking to the end. Uh, I hope this was helpful to you to figure out which cloud provider to use, also known as Azure. <laughs> you should use Azure. No, I'm kidding. Use whatever you want. Hopefully this was helpful. 
to help you choose which cloud provider you want to learn for your career and to grow your career.